I read somewhere that mathematicians can turn a sphere inside out. Yes, that's true. What's the big deal? Just poke a hole in it and pull it through. Sure, but the point is to do it without making a hole. But then it seems impossible. You're right. You cannot do it with an ordinary sphere, like a basketball. You have to understand the rules of the game. This sphere is made of an abstract elastic material that can stretch and bend and pass through itself. But you cannot rip or puncture this material without destroying it. And you cannot crease it or bend it sharply. If the surface can pass through itself, what's the problem? Do you think allowing self-intersections makes it easy? Try it. I'll push the two halves right through each other. Be careful. What about that ring around the equator? Remember, you mustn't tear or crease it. Ah, uh, let me try again. That's no good either. You're pinching it infinitely tight. But then there's no way. It's impossible. You'd have to crease or pinch it to turn it inside out. It is surprising, but watch this. Is this it? Is this a sphere turning inside out? You bet. That wasn't easy to follow, was it? To figure out what's going on, let's look at something simpler. A circle. We'll build a vertical wall along the circle so that we can color the two sides differently. Can you gradually turn this circle into this other circle, where the purple and gold sides are reversed without creating sharp corners? Of course. I can turn a rubber band inside out. Remember, we're really trying to turn the circle inside out. We only built the wall so we could see the different sides. Oh, yes. The wall has to stay vertical, and it can't have creases, but it can pass through itself. Fine. Let me try. Watch out. That was a sharp bend. If we could make sharp bends in the material, we'd be able to turn any curve into any other by moving each point of the initial curve in a straight line toward a target point in the final curve. But I can avoid corners altogether by making a loop smaller and smaller. That's an interesting idea, but pulling a loop tight is not really a gradual change. It's like having a corner in disguise. So it's against the rules. Well, if you can't have corners, and you can't pull loops tight, I think it's impossible to turn the circle inside out. Yes, you're right. Wait a minute. Am I supposed to believe that you can turn a sphere inside out? That